Um, ha bye, Mommy. I'm going upstairs to get an A. Ha goodbye, Mommy. I'm going upstairs to get an A. Yep. What are you gonna do down here? Nothing. You gonna mail those letters? Are you gonna mail those letters? Don't do that. I need some money, will you? Will you give me money? No.
You're some pumpkin, aren't you? Huh? Go to sleep. Then he crossed out, go to sleep. 
sleep. That upset Toad. Now my day is all crossed out. I am glad, said Toad. Then Frog and Toad went right to sleep. Frog was in his garden. Toad came walking by. What a fine garden. We have a frog, he said. Yes, said Frog. It is very nice, but it was hard work. I wish I had a garden, said Toad. There are some flower seeds. Plant them in the ground said Frog, and soon you will have a garden. How soon, asked Toad. Oh, quite soon. Toad ran home and planted the flower seeds. Now seeds, said Toad, start growing. Toad walked up and down a few times. The seeds didn't start to grow. Toad put his head close to the ground and said loudly, Now seeds start growing. Toad looked at the ground again. The seeds did not start to grow. Toad put his head very close to the ground and shouted, Now seeds start growing. Frog came running up the path. What is all this noise here? My seeds will not grow, said Toad. You're shouting too much, said Frog. These poor seeds are afraid to grow. My seeds are afraid to grow last time. Of course. Leave them alone for a few days. Let the sun shine on them. Let the rain fall on them. Then soon your seeds will start to grow. That night, Toad looked out of his window. To that, said Toad, my seeds have not started to grow. They must be afraid of the dark. Toad went out to his garden with some candles. I will read the seed the story, said Toad. Then they will not be afraid. Toad read a long story to his seeds. All the next day, Toad sang songs to his seeds. All the next day, he read poems to his seeds. And all the next day, he played music for his seeds. Two frogs can do about anything. Toad looked at the ground, and the seeds did not grow. What shall I do? cried Toad. These must be the most frightened seeds in the whole world. Toad felt very tired and he fell asleep. Toad, Toad, wake up, said Toad, look at your garden. He looked at his garden, little green plants were coming up out of the ground. See? At last, shouted Toad, now seeds have stopped being afraid to grow. And now you have a nice garden, said Toad. Yes, said Toad, but you are a very hard, very hard work. Toad baked some cookies. These cookies smell very good, said Toad. He ate one, and they taste even better, he said. Toad ran to Frog's house. Frog, Frog, cried Toad. Taste these cookies that I have made. Frog ate one of the cookies. These are the best cookies I have ever eaten, said Frog. Good, look what I'm old for. Frog and Toad ate many cookies, one after another. That's what you did the other day, didn't you? Mm. You know, Toad, said Paul, with his mouth full, I think we should stop eating real soon. Be sick. You're right, said Toad. Let us eat one ice cookie and then we'll stop. Robin Toad ate one ice cookie. There were many cookies left in the boat. Oh, said Toad. Let us eat one very nice cookie and then we'll stop. They ate one very nice cookie. We must stop eating, cried Toad, as he ate another. Yes, said Paul, reaching for a cookie. We, we need willpower. What is willpower? asked Toad. Willpower is trying hard not to do something that you really want to do. You mean my trying to eat all the cookies? <coughs> asked Toad. Right, said Paul. I'll put the cookies on the box. There he said, no. We will not eat any more cookies, but we can open the box. That's true. Frog tied some string around the box. There he said, now we will not eat any more cookies. But we can cut the string and open the box. That is true. Oh, God, I already put the box up on the high shelf. I think he did. There said Frog, now we will not eat any more cookies. But we can climb the ladder and take the box down from the shelf and cut the string and open the box, said Toad. That is true, said Frog. Frog climbed the ladder and took the box down from the shelf and cut the string and opened the box. Frog took the box 
This is frog. Yeah. And this is toad. They shouted in a loud voice, Hey birds, here are cookies. Birds came from everywhere. They picked up all the cookies in their beaks and flew away. Now we have no more cookies to eat, said Toad Sally. Not even one. Yes, said Frog. But we have lots and lots of willpower. You may keep it all, Frog, said Toad. I am going home now. Make a cake. Frog and Toad are reading a book together. The people in this book are brave, said Toad. They fight dragons and giants, and they are never afraid. I wonder if we are brave, said Frog. Frog and Toad looked into a mirror. We look brave, said Frog. What are we? asked Toad. Frog and Toad are outside. We can try to climb this mountain, said Toad. That should tell us if we are brave. Frog went leaping over the rocks and Toad came coming up behind him. They came to a dark cave. A big snake came out of the cave. Hello, Lunch, said the snake. When he saw Frog and Toad, he opened his warm mouth. Frog and Toad jumped away. Toad was shaking. I am not afraid, he cried. Oh. Toad, they climbed higher and they heard a loud noise. Many large stones are rolling down the mountain. It's an avalanche, cried Toad. Frog and Toad jumped away. Frog was trembling. I am not afraid, he shouted. I am about to follow him. They may be kidding. They came to the top of the mountain. The shadow of a hole fell over them. Frog and Toad jumped under it. Frog, the hole flew away. We're not afraid, Spring Crow, at the same time. Then they ran down the mountain very fast. They ran past the place where they saw the elephants. They ran past the place where they saw the snake. And they ran all the way to Toad's house. Oh, well, I'm glad you have a bird friend like you, said Toad. He jumped into the bed and pulled the covers over his head. I am happy to know a brave person like you, Toad, said Toad. He jumped into the closet and shut the door. Toad stayed in the bed and Frog stayed in the closet. <coughs> so they stayed there for a long time, just feeling the vivid blade. Toad was asleep and he was having a dream. He was on the stage and he was wearing a costume. Toad looked out into the dark and Frog was sitting in the theater. A strange voice from far away said, presenting the greatest toad in all the world. He seemed to Toad that Frog looked even smaller. It looked small, don't it? Sarah, did you get up for it? Oh, you had to get up and take care of school, didn't you? Yeah. Huh. Sometimes at my house, you'd still yet be asleep. Here, too. Joseph, Joseph, what? come here. What is it? Tell me a story.